Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back in Dark Ice Mines. And that shadow I thought that I thought was a bat, the shadow I saw that I thought was a bat thing is actually like something on that platform up there. So that's not what we thought it was. Disregard for now. The statement shall be stricken from the record. Ah, uh, the jury will disregard. Anyway, get out of here. Oh, seriously, Fox? Your aim is horrible, dude. I'm not even going to try with that anymore. I'm just going to take out the Sharp Claw who are, like, wandering about. And I'm going to ignore the Thresher Moss. Whoa! Oh, hey! Thanks, Eric. Where, where was it? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Eric was, uh, searching for his pen in the depths of my couch. And was, uh, happy to report that he found my missing remote control. I mean, I kind of figured it was under the couch, but I was just too lazy to, like, dig underneath there and get it myself. He said it was about elbow deep in between the two middle cushions. Which, yeah, if I haven't mentioned it. There's a couch in my dorm room, which is nice. It was a pain to get it in here, but it's nice that we have it. Anyway, I'm kind of just wandering about now. Oh, this is where we've been. I don't want to go in there. So, I think there's two things that we have to do to get, like, a, a bridge to up here so we can go across this little bit here. But I'm not sure what those two things are. <laughs> so I'm a bit confused at this point. So that's that's that left one looks interesting. You can see there's like a thing back there, like like a warp. I'm not sure if that's the Crusoe Shrine or not. It certainly looks like it could be. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's like to the boss or something. Anyway, there's one thing we definitely can do. It's this uh, ladder here. So let's go ahead and do some climbing and see what there is to see up here. And it looks like what was rolling around is actually like exploding barrels, and this is fun. You have to grab one of these barrels, and basically you just like run up shit, the platform here without, damn it, doing that. Without running into one of the barrels that's coming down. Oh, I didn't make it very far, did I? Basically like you alternate like one side and then the other. Shit. This gave me a lot of trouble when I was a kid. Now there's no like, timer, so you don't have to like rush. It's not one of the barrels that's going to blow up after like a certain amount of time. So you can stop and take a look ahead. Barrels aren't always predictable because they sort of they don't really follow a path that makes sense. But they do follow like each and every one of them follows the same path. So once you like learn where they're gonna be, you can go to the other side and you'll be fine. So when you get near the end that they get it's tricky because you're gonna have to time it to get up there. To use the damn thing. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what this is for. <laughs> I have it up here now, but I don't know what to do with it. I get the feeling it's not going to be used to destroy that box. Or that. I don't think it's for that. Uh, oh, I know, right? I, I, I got it now, I got it now. There's a puzzle involved with this thing. We take it here and put down. See, a special command appears. You know you're doing something right when a special command appears. So we're going to continue up this ladder now. And, uh... This is gonna take a while, man. <sighs> man, I'm tired. I need to get more sleep. This whole college thing is just not like conducive. What the heck is that? Wow. Okay, that's interesting. This whole college thing is not like conducive to like getting eight hours of sleep every night. This thing like a lot lately. I need to fix that. Anyway, let's bring this thing back. Because the way this puzzle is going is, uh, basically we sent that thing down there to pick up that crate. Or not the crate, the barrel. And now it's, we're supposed to bring it back up. Why, why didn't it come back? Do I need to do it again? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, bring it up here and put it down. Gosh, I think it dropping it like that would make it explode, but nope. Alright, so now we gotta sneak around these things. And they just go on and off at regular intervals. Oh, and if you screw this up, you're going to have to bring it all the way back from, like, the very bottom, so don't. But this is where we're taking it. There's a hole in the wall over here. Boom! Oh, God, for a second there, I thought I'd missed. That would have been horrible. You did the thing! Awesome. We got the bridge to up here. That feels amazing. It's like there's gold inside my soul now. Of course, we still don't have this thing extended, and I'm not sure what we have to actually have to do to get that that to appear. But wow, that fire was really loud in my ears. Anyway, it looks like when you do that puzzle, you want to just turn the thing on and leave it on, and it'll just sort of like go back and forth over and over again, and as many times as you need it. 
don't know, you may have to turn it off to like, put the barrel down so it doesn't like suck it out of your hands or something weird, I don't know. Anyway, we'll run across where the new the new area we opened up. I'm just gonna destroy that so it doesn't push me off the edge. Cause that would be like bad. Oh, dude, I just got ran over by a boulder. Nice. And fox luck like, took like a quarter of a fox hit from that. That wasn't bad at all. I'm just running up out of instinct. I'm not sure if this is actually the right way we're supposed to go. Thankfully, the walls here don't do damage. Oh, it doesn't look like I was right. Although this is the same track from earlier, the boulders have just gone over a little jump. Man, that. That boulder reminds me a lot of a boulder from a game called Exile. If you guys have never played the game, the Myst series, it's M-Y-S-T. There's a series of games. They are awesome. They're not like a shooter or like an RPG or anything like that. They're puzzle. They're entirely puzzle based. But it's they're really interesting. Like in the first game, you like. Ah, oh gosh, it's so complicated. I don't know what to tell you. I guess I don't want to, like, give away anything that's really cool about the game. Things you find out, but, like... Essentially, there are these things called linking books. And, like, I don't think we can go this way, can we? You know? There are these things called linking books. And, like, you put your hand on the book, and it links, basically, meaning teleports, to you to, like, uh, another dimension, essentially. And it sends you to, like, all these awesome... Oh, don't fall! Oh, my God! <laughs> Since you do all these awesome places, like, uh, I think that in the first game, you go to, like, a world of, like, trees. It's like a, like a huge swamp with lots of trees. And then you also go to, like, uh, a world where, like, the entire dimension is an ocean, except for this one little tiny, like, island, which is essentially has been turned into, like, this guy's house. And so this guy has, like, this whole island, like, pimped out to be his house. And you, like, solve some puzzles and, like, restore electricity to the compound and this and that and the other thing. And there's always cool puzzles involved. And now there's, like, Riven and Exile were the second and third. And then they've come up with a bunch of them after that. But none of them were as good as the first three. Like, Mist, Riven, and Exile. I'll put the names in the description. But, oh, God. First thing is, Mist was for the Windows 95. So unless you've got 7 and can run uh, compatibility mode. Or XP, I think, also has compatibility mode for Windows 95. You're kind of screwed out of the game because... You're not going to be able to play it uh, on a standard, like, Vista system. Hey, that's one of the things we had to do. I mean, there were two things we had to do. It just turns out it was shooting these two things. Hey, look at that. That's the second one. How cool is that? And now we've done the thing. Awesome. Now we have to just get back down there. We. I'm not going to jump. That's too far. I'm actually not sure how much of a hit Fox would take from that. I'm not sure whether or not uh, falling a really long distance will do more damage than falling like just far enough to hurt yourself. But I'm not really interested in finding out right now. We're actually close to the boss, that's why. <laughs> Those uh, two paths we just put together, I'm, I think I remember now that that path that we opened up, the teleporter in there, I think that actually is to the boss room. So, now it would not be a good time to take a bunch of hits. I do hope that this doesn't hurt me. Ah! Oh well, it's only a quarter of a fox, and this next fight's not bad. The first boss is always easy, right? I mean, that's a given. Oh, and if you didn't catch it in my earlier videos, the uh, these teleporter things are actually are supposed to make a sound. Just for some reason, my... You can hear totally total silence there. For some reason, my game doesn't, uh, like, just doesn't. I have no idea whether it's like the disc or the game or what. Boss Galden, I don't want to do this yet, man. We're at the end of a video. I don't want to get involved in a boss fight at the end of a video. We're going to have to wait and do this in the next episode, so... What the heck is that? I'll see you guys next time on Let's... Oh, I see that. I don't think I don't see that spellstone. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Star Fox, and we'll take on the boss, Galden.